Hello, welcome to the channel. I am excited because we are back with another video. This one I recorded in May and I went to a couple of places with my dad. So I thought that I would share some information about those places and show you around because they are absolutely beautiful and it might inspire you to be a little bit creative and also maybe calm you down because it's nature, obviously. And at the end of the video, I uh, show you what I've been doing to my garden and I just have a little bit of fun in me. So I just thought I would share it with you and do this intro far, far in the future. It's now August. Um, just to, you know, catch you up with what's going on. Wow, that shadow was really weird on my glasses. Makes me look like I've got angry eyebrows. I can't even see out of those. I need to get them cleaned. Or clean them myself, actually. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope that you enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, subscribe as well if you haven't already. Thanks. Hello, so now we are at this portion where I show you around this park that we went to. This is me and my dad, by the way. And I went to Pitt and Creef Park and was unsure about where the origin was and where it came from. And it was a gorgeous park, so I wanted to know more about it. So I looked it up and want to share that information with you so that you know about it too. It's absolutely beautiful. Feels like you're in a different world. There's my dad trying to take a picture of a squirrel who was... Uh, running around there was loads of these squirrels by the way thousands of them and it was just amazing but anyway let's get into the information about uh you know the the, the whole thing pit and Creef park was gifted to people of dunfermline by andrew carnegie who is a or was a scottish born american industrialist and philanthropist which i had to uh google philanthropist because i wasn't sure what that meant but now I know, and I have heard the word floating around. It's basically somebody who um, helps in a charitable way a lot um, and basically dedicates a lot of time, money and effort to that kind of thing. Um, he also led the expansion of the American steel industry in the late 19th century and became one of the richest Americans in history, which I found fascinating that you know, America and Scotland are connected in such a way. People from America and people from Scotland, you know, intertwine and, and are, I don't know, have such a impact on the places that they have been in. Also has peacocks too, as you can see. Free Roman peacocks, by the way. Anyway, during the last 18 years of his life, he gave 350 million, which is roughly 5.9 billion today or rather in 2022 when this wikipedia page was wrote, written which was 90 percent of his fortune to charities foundations and universities and he lived in dunfermline until 1848 and then at the age of 12 he um, immigrated to pittsburgh with his uh, parents or pittsburgh i don't know edinburgh pittsburgh whatever <laughs> He started work as a telegrapher and invested in railroads, bridges and oil and he built Pittsburgh Carnegie Steel and then sold it in 1901 for 303 uh, million 450,000, so 10.6 billion today. Andrew devoted the remainder of his life to large-scale philanthropy with emphasis on building local libraries world peace, education, scientific research, and he funded the Carnegie Hall, which is a concert venue in Midtown Manhattan, and he did a lot of other things as well. I'm into Roselle uh, Estate here, which we'll go <laughs> get into in a minute, but I just want to finish up what I'm talking about with uh, Carnegie. He um, built a library in Dear Dunfermline and bought the private estate which became Pit and Grief and opened it to all members of public um, and there's a statue built in there somewhere of him to celebrate the creation of the park um, and I cannot find him I don't know where the statue is so I'm going to go again to see if I can find the statue but um, it's it's just a beautiful place. It's, I can't believe how nice it is and beautiful. So I don't really care what he did in the past. He did this and uh, he made it possible, which is awesome. Um, there's a lot of, you know, information on him that you can look up 
and uh, think about by yourself but I just wanted to share that with you. On to Roselle Estate which is uh, 37 hectares whatever that is, in South Ayrshire, which opened to the public in 1968 and it holds events such as the Airflower Show and the Holy Fair, which I've never been to. It has two galleries, which is a permanent home to a collection of 54 paintings based on Tam O'Shanter, arguably <laughs> Robbie Burns' most famous poem. Um, I looked at these, I didn't film it because I was, you know, I didn't want to film inside there. Roselle House is also the home to the Ayrshire Humanity Museum and the other gallery has a collection of traditional and modern works by commissioned artists and works purchased by the McLaren Trust. So that's quite cool. There is a series of sculptures by a sculptor named Henry Moore made in to a little game where you can follow the map to the sculptures and it's great for keeping kids uh, walking to hunt for them basically um and you know that's uh what it is there's also a um world war one memorial which i found to be completely like awestruck i was all struck by it it was amazing there was um carved out sculptures of soldiers from world war one it just blew my mind. Blew my mind. But while that's playing in the background, I thought I would update you on what happened in May. I got an Xbox, which was intended for us to play the Xbox together, but it lasted a few weeks and it became a YouTube player for the bedroom TV, which is exciting. Um, May was just the month of being outside. I spent most of it cleaning up the neighbour's garden since she was quoted £200 to get rid of all of her junk in the garden so I offered to help um, and then I was cleaning up my back and front garden myself a lot a lot of uh, mowing and stuff my garden is a mess again so did that all in May now it's back to where it was before um, it was also the month that I started swimming again with Caden on Fridays but by myself throughout the week and I discovered just how much I love swimming again Oh my god, and I'm actually really good at it as well. I didn't realise how good I was at it, actually. <laughs> and um, I also helped my mum out by taking a shift at the cafe, which was really fun. I had no idea that it was as fun as that to um, do. Um, I also want to share a little bit of this conversation I had with my dad while we were in Roselle Estate. So enjoy that and I will get back to you um, afterwards. Are you finished? Am I allowed to come? I'm surprised you went out that bitch. <laughs> Willy Whirler. I'm starting to take you Uh-huh. Probably should have sat on the bird poo bench. It's not like there's no but here, at least the place has got minches. Yep. Yeah. I just got bile in there. <laughs> <laughs> nice and tasty. They're a bumblebee. Humble Look bumble. how massive they are. You should have done bee simulator. Nah, I, I didn't really. I wasn't in it. Well, right enough bee simulator. It's a bit boring. It's only about four years, so. Get it in the floors and fighting the wee bee and then oh, gone into the hive. So it didn't seem like there was much merit than that. Imagine living right there, eh? Oh, aye, somebody's built that so that they can get here. Thanks for that. It still looks quite pleasant. You win there, that's well, good. I've not seen the big house yet. It's supposed to be a big house. We walked past it. Did we? <laughs> it's, uh, it's near the um, where we parked the car. It's just the other way. It's on the main road. I think we'll have to come over here after. But I think if we keep going this way, we'll eventually get back to the pass. Well, let's hope so. Oh no. <laughs> I suggest we're going to go up that way again, eh? That way, aye. Back into the woods. Because <laughs> there's a car. car. <laughs> and if we go back into the woods and swing round. Well, we just go back into the woods. I think well, right, so. I've still not seen Rupert. No. Or anybody else. No. Me. I think there's still another six to see. A big walker's paradise, this place. Aye. I've never seen that. 
Uh-oh. I'm getting really thirsty, but I've got water in my bag. 